Alright, so very recently in Boruto chapter 67, Momoshiki actually confirmed that the so-called infamous quote where Momoshiki is telling Boruto that he'll lose it all is actually going to happen very soon and it seems like that this is going to happen before the time skip and Momoshiki sort of alluded to the fact that what's coming now is going to be way worse than what just happened to you. Now just to catch up everybody who may have not you know read the chapter basically Boruto was revived after Kawaki killed him and then Momoshiki reappeared again and told him about the time that he would actually lose it all and now that we're finally past that scene and Boruto is finally back again it's kind of the time to you know start talking about what does Momoshiki actually mean by those blue eyes will take everything away from you. So one of the theories that I had before was that Momoshiki was actually going to be partly responsible for what that quote exactly meant. But now that Boruto's body can't be used as a way for Momoshiki to resurrect, I'm not exactly fond of that idea anymore. What I really think is going to happen with Boruto and why he's going to lose everything pretty soon is because of the actions that Code is about to do now. Towards the end of that chapter, it seemed like Cove was getting ready to confront Amato and has a way to get inside the village, right? But I think once Code actually makes his move is when things will start to spiral out of control and we're going to see some major developments within the story. And I can definitely see a situation to where Code enters the Hidden Leaf Village through like Shikamaru. Let's say you put like a claw mark on Shikamaru and he's able to enter the Leaf Village through Shikamaru and... He gets through to Leaf Village and then battle breaks out to where Code is putting other people's lives in danger and there's things to where, you know, Boruto is a very high value target because Boruto, you don't need it for the chakra fruit that Code wants to develop. And if Boruto gets captured by Code, then things can go very bad. And I could see something to where Code even holds, you know, hostages like he didn't before and tries to bargain with the Hidden Leaf Village saying, hey, if you don't give me Boruto, then you know, things might get messy and we've seen code almost you know do that to shikamaru during this you know past fight scene so you know i could definitely see code you know even doing things where he starts hurting people close to boruto you know just to kind of get to him because you know boruto and kawaii are the two most important people on the planet right now they kind of just hold the fate of the world in their hand technically speaking and if boruto or kawaii is sacrificed to the tentos then he goes all over for the world so i can see ko kind of doing whatever he can to sort of get boruto to come with him or anything like that so he can actually sacrifice him to the divine tree and i think there's other situations to where you know just whenever that attack happens i could just see people like maybe you know him and water and Hinata getting hurt in that sequence too and i wonder if you know boruto still residing in the leaf village is going to be a danger to everyone because of code we know that code is currently looking for these two right and because Boruto's in the leaf village similar to you know sort of Kawaki's mindset right like I gotta get out the leaf village I gotta protect Naruto and all that because Boruto's in the village he kind of puts everyone at risk so kind of you know developing on that whole like rogue theory right what if the reason that Boruto's not necessarily in the village is because Boruto's just you know doing it out of necessity to protect everybody not that he's you know necessarily is a bad or a good guy it's just that he's really just putting everybody at risk by being in a leaf village and i wonder if it's going to be something to like where you know boruto is able to suppress his chakra similar to how kawaki was able to do that and hide away for a little bit with you know maybe sasuke or something like that or a situation to where you know he maybe he's not with sasuke he's just on his own or something like that to where boruto just needs to run away from the village and not put you know more people in danger you know after what code may potentially do because let's say that code gets his limiters taken off and decides he wants to invade the leaf village for board to right then that's going to be a lot of bodies potentially dropping if code gets his limiters taken off because we know that the moment code gets his limiters taken off is when it's pretty much game over for a lot of people in the leaf village and even if boris runs away from the village it's not going to really help out a lot of the other people in the village like naruto and sasuke who are still getting hunted by code even though naruto and sasuke aren't code's top priority there's still somebody on code's hit list so i wonder if boruto not having knowledge of this could make some you know wrong decisions to where he's not conscious of the idea that maybe you know him being there with naruto and sasuke could be the better option because there are more people versus code could help out but if boruto isn't aware that code is after all of them then yeah i could definitely see boruto leaving the leaf village in order to protect those people but 
you know, honestly, if he is aware that code is kind of going after all of them, he has other motives as well. I think it'd be best for Boris to actually stay in the village and maybe even work with Kawaki, Naruto, and Sasuke to kind of fight against this code when he gets his limits are taken off. And even when Boruto will eventually quote unquote lose it all, I don't even think it's going to be something major. I think it's going to be something small and i think later we'll sort of get a glimpse of what's to come i can see Boruto's mental going downhill just because of some of the events that are going on because of code and you know things of that nature i don't think Boruto is going to lose a lot of what he loves really early on but i think there's going to be one or two important things that Boruto is going to lose you know before a time skip and i can even see like I, we keep saying this every single week but i can definitely see this being to where the Jogon potentially makes an appearance and you know let's say that Ko gets his limiters taken off right and he's fighting board so I can definitely see this situation to where Ko even gives Boruto this scar and you know events like that could unfold so I think that when Momoshiki says that this could be time for Boruto to lose at all or it could be something similar to that I think it's just sort of like the downhill process that's going to start very soon and I would really love if they kind of throw in the Jogon here as a sort of a thing that happens right before the time skip sort of giving Boruto his own little power up as well and then and for Boruto now that he's actually alive and you know code is going to come again so it's only a matter of time till more people get hurt right we almost had a situation to where Shikamaru almost died he told Naruto if you move I'll kill Shikamaru right so we really know what code's kind of capable of and stuff like that but I definitely think that code is going to take out at least one person close to Boruto or do something drastic. But yeah, that's kind of my thought process for, you know, how Momoshiki is saying that Boruto will lose everything soon. There hasn't really been anybody you know, too close to Boruto to where he's had a major loss, but I'm very interested to see kind of where the story is headed to in that direction. I mean, the Boruto story has been getting very dark, a little bit like slower and slower and slower, but it's been ramping up and I can definitely see this being the one final arc right before the time skip to where we see Boruto's change in character happen and we kind of can get a good glimpse of why Boruto is like that after the time skip. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you think Boruto is going to lose anybody at all? What do you necessarily make of the quotes that Momoshiki said saying that those blue eyes will take everything away from you or something similar to that? And what do you exactly think is going to be coming for Boruto and how do you see his fate sort of turning out in the future? Anyways, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and join the Discord, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Sing. 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 Sing.